decompression mode because I'm the day before my wedding and I thought I would bring you another beer review before I leave to go get my imperial shave, uh, if you will, or royal treatment. Uh, anyways, I am reviewing another beer that was sent to me by Nick Johnson, one of the gracious followers of mine who sent me the 515 Growler. And this is a beer from a brewing company who I typically have had a few things that I just didn't love. Um, but this is unsessionable. This is an Imperial IPA clocking at 10% alcohol by volume with six different hop varietals. Centennial, Chinook, Amarillo, Galaxy, Citra, and Cascade. So yeah, fucking fist to your freaking crotch. Anyways, uh, brewed in Chicago, Illinois. Um, don't really know much else about it. Don't know the malt bill. I know it's 10%. Uh, I look forward to reviewing it for you. It was something that was just kind of sent from Nick, and he said, you need to try this. I don't care if you review it or not. But I decided that I would share it with you. And it was can a 929 of last month. And today is um, October 16th, so day before my wedding. Anyways, this one pours out this crazy crystal clear, uh, like abrasive, surly looking uh, Imperial IPA. Nothing really terribly wrong with that, but I do, as you know, appreciate turbidity, chill haze, a lot of those unfiltered notes. But uh, this one looks good. It's got a tight, uh, actually, quite big bubbles foaming up around the bottom. Uh, looks good. Let's go ahead and dive into the nose. Six different hop varietals. Let's hope we can pick, pinpoint or pick out some of the others. Okay, so, wow. I had a uh, friend who saw a picture that I posted on Instagram, and he goes, Dude, you gotta try Unsessionable. He's like, you're gonna fucking love it. He's gonna, he's gonna blow your mind. Anyways, no, it's not. Okay, wait, hang on. I get like this strong lime kiwi note. <laughs> Can't describe it any other way. Yeah, just this like uh, lemony lime starburst note. Big like Capri Sun juicy notes. This is by no means a gusher. Or a juicer. Or a shredder. Um, I get this like... Like... Pine first, and then Capri Sun Juicy Notes second. Um, should be noted that this is 100 IBUs. I do not smell 100 IBUs of bitterness from this. I get some of those like earthy floral tones, that modem tones that you get from Chinook, Centennial, Cascade, those sea hops. Kind of grassy. I get this peachiness, this apricot note from Amarillo. I get like this uh, guava papaya note from Galaxy, a little bit of pineapple from Citra. It's all there, candied fruits, sugar peel, uh, like sautéed fruit rinds, if you will. That's a bizarre note, but I get it. Um, this is a really, really complex double IPA, and... The thing I will say is there is not this resounding sweet note or sugary note of maltiness coming through the back end. It, it's crystal clean. Uh, smells like a lot of peaches. It, this, is, this is nice stuff. Thanks so much, Nick. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. I feel like this fist just hit me in the face. Jesus Christ. Um, wow. Uh, the sweetness of the malt bill and the 10% alcohol by volume is really, really dominating here in the taste. Holy shit. Not so much that it's taking over the hot bill. Uh, the hot bill with six varietals uh, is all there. There's uh, a really, really faint... Um, Peachy nectarine note, uh, Amarillo dominant, if you will. I didn't tell I'm hungry. When you get some of these hoppier, lupulin induced beers that hit the pit of your stomach, you're just like, holy shit, I need to eat. Um, wow. Some of that earthy floralness, that lavender note uh, in those sea hops that a lot of people don't pick up, but I do. Ah, 
pine grapefruit peel. Um, big ass like clementine tangerine notes. Uh, holy hell. Nick, you sent me a banger. This is awesome. This is really, really cool. Uh, wow. The alcohol heat, uh, I will say, at the end of this, hits my gut like a fucking rock. And that is the only real detractor of this beer. I would buy this every single day of the week if I, if I could. This is great. Wow. 10% though. Shit. Dial that down to 7. Problems. Um. Alright. So. It's good. It's great. It's a world class. Is it 95 plus? No. No it's not. It's slightly too sweet. Slightly too boozy. Um, a lot of muted hop tones, modem tones, uh, kind of just is muted in a regard, but I will say, I don't know what this costs. I don't know if it comes in four packs. I don't know the availability. We don't get revolution up here. Um, I do know I really like it. Um, I'm going to go a 93 out of a hundred on this guy. Uh, I think it has promise to get into that upper echelon of beers if they dial down on some of the alcohol. A lot of the alcohol is coming through slightly fusel. Uh, so it's just like straight fucking vodka to my throat. You know, when you get like those boozy IPAs like, uh, um, is it Drake's Brewing Company? Draconic or whatever? That triple IPA they have, it's just like straight vodka hits your throat. Uh, uh, Steel Toes, one of them, size 11. It's just like straight booze hits your throat. Bitterness. This does not taste like 100 IBUs. I will say that. Um, and it's definitely something that I really, really do appreciate. And I hope. Hot burps are good. Jesus, they're prominent too. Uh, anyways, I, this is a beer that I, I would recommend seeking out. Um, uh, if you're in Chicago or anywhere where Revolution is distributed, I think this is something that, um, it's kind of like the surly abrasive, if you will, of Chicago in a way, to me. Uh, I think it should be sought out in that regard. I love that it's in 12-ounce cans. I could not put down 16 ounces of this. I'd be in real trouble. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Nonetheless, thanks so much, Nick, for sending this out to me. I am super appreciative, man. Uh, I... There, there's something to be said for the generosity of this community. I keep getting people who blindside me with like, hey, I want to send you this. I want to see you review this. Or, hey, I'm going to send you this, and then I'm going to send you a shit ton of other things. And, hey, you review them if you want. Well, hey, dude, I'm going to review anything you send me because if you liked it well enough to send it to me, you probably want to know what I think. And uh, so what makes this community fun, guys? Cheers so much. I'm going 93 is my solid score. So, see you again in another beer review. Peace!